You are listening to Curious and Interesting, a two-minute podcast on what's new and intriguing in the world of advertising research. I'm Dr. Suki Yoon, editor of the Journal of Current Issues and Research in Advertising. Imagine that you donated a sizable amount, say $500, to an environmental organization. Then you encounter an advertisement that touts the importance of recycling. If you don't recycle, your plastic bottle will destroy natural habitats. The ad uses the type of appeal that tries to change consumer behavior by making consumers feel guilty. Knowing that you have contributed generously, you might possibly grumble. I got it. Stop preaching to the choir. Will you feel that you have done enough to support the cause? Will your irritation affect your decisions about purchasing eco-friendly products? Later, shopping for laundry detergent, you encounter two choices. Brand Y is eco-friendly, but more expensive. Brand Z is less eco-friendly, but a cheap alternative. Will you think about that $500 donation when you decide whether to buy brand Y or brand Z? Will you still feel angry about being made to feel guilty about using plastic bottles? Lim and Hong wanted to examine whether people who have performed good deeds perceive that they have earned moral licensing rights to transgress in other areas and whether moral licensing affects responses to guilt appeals. They conducted an experiment examining reactions to guilt appeals among study participants who had performed a prior moral deed, such as donating to an environmental organization. They found that when participants viewed a guilt appeal for recycling, they resisted by choosing a conventional detergent over an eco-friendly detergent. Participants were more likely to comply with recycling ads that left them feeling better about themselves. For more information, this research paper appears in the 2022 issue of the Journal of Current Issues and Research in Advertising.